morning, everybody, and welcome to a weekly message from Jesus. I'm Barry Strome. I'll be channeling the message from our Lord. Uh, just one quick reminder, all of our videos are available on my YouTube channel. It's in my name. We have over 240 videos available for you to watch. So our Father is waiting to give his message. So we will now begin. Good morning, everybody. Today, I would like to speak to you about the fog of life. Now, I'm sure you're all familiar with fog is. It's something that prevents you from seeing. If you're driving down a road and there's fog, then it's very difficult for you to see the path ahead. Even headlights don't help at times. There may be a guiding light at the end of the, of the, path, of the road that you're trying to travel, but in a dense fog, you can't see it. Well, there are many, many things that can prevent you from seeing the road to heaven. In life, you see many fogs. There are many clouds that get in front of you. You're distracted by raising your family. You're distracted by trying to earn enough money to assure that you'll have a decent retirement. And then again, there are all of those people out there that are trying to mislead you. All of the people that are saying that I don't truly exist are creating a fog in your life. I know you hear people tell you that it's impossible. There could be no God. You can't prove it mathematically. You can't touch it. You can't touch, you can't touch God. You can't really hear them. You speak to them in prayer. Sometimes prayers come true. Sometimes they can't be answered because they're against life plans. But the world is full of doubt about the fact that I really do exist. All of these people around you, you know, you try to mention the messages that you can hear my words every week. And they think you're crazy when you tell them. That's all fog. That is all people, incidents, actions that are meant to prevent you from following the path that I have laid out for you. Your life plan is a guide to advancing in heaven. All of the things that distract you from that path are a fog of life. Now, you may have never thought of it like that. I'm here at the end of the path with a light to show you the way home. If you go out and you do evil, hurt others, show anger, show hatred, do all the things that I tell you not to do, then you will have trouble finding the path. All of the evil that you do creates a fog to you seeing the way to heaven. Now, there's many ways to clear the fog. On my planet, the sun clears the fog. That's relatively easy. The sun comes up and the heat of my sun melts away the fog and you are free to see. My words are the sun in your life. They are the words that lead you to where you need to go and have you on your life plan where you need to be. On a cloudy day, the fog remains because there is no light to cover, to remove the fog from the earth. It can last for days as clouds cover the sun. Well, evil are the clouds that cover my sun. Think of me as the light that shows you the path Think of me as the sun that removes the evil fog from your lives. Each week I come to you and tell you that my words are the way that you should guide your life. My words tell you of love. They tell you that they want you, that I would like you to treat others as you want to be treated. My words can be the sun that clears the fog from your life. 
I also tell you that leading a good life is common sense. Why would anybody with common sense want to create actions that bring hatred and anger towards that person? If you show anger and hatred to others, then obviously they show it back. You set off a chain reaction. Many people will do as much as they can to show revenge, show anger, show hatred. The people that you anger, then go out and show that anger towards others. That's the chain reaction to which I refer. Anger and hatred are a major fog to stop you from traveling successfully on the highway of life that I have prepared for you in your life plans. You can help prevent that fog. You can see through that fog once you understand it. The fog of life is not a physical happening as it is in the fog of nature. It is a fog that you have created. Just as you have created that fog, you can end it as well. I tell you each week that what you have done in your life is in the past. What you must do is look forward each day that you have remaining in your human life. It is never too late to begin to help others. It's never too late to do what I ask of you. I ask that you help spread my messages. That's a fairly simple request. There's no tricks to that. Now, you do know that you will run in, into people whose heads are in such deep fog that they won't listen to you. Well, that's not your fault. You've tried. That's on them. The important thing is that you have tried to spread my messages. I ask you to do this each week. Oh, and I've been coming to you now for, oh, I believe 60 weeks. So I've asked you this a lot of times. I know many of you are very tired of hearing it. I tell you this every week. I want you to remove the fog of evil from your lives. I am the light. I am the light that can guide you. Many countries have lighthouses on the point of the rocks. That is to guide people away from danger. My words can be your lighthouse. They can guide you away from dangers. They can help you remove all the fogs in your life. Once your head is clear of all these distractions, you will be utterly amazed at how happy you will find yourselves. You will be at peace. You may not be able to bring other people to be at peace, but your responsibility is your own soul. If your soul is truly at peace, then you will know happiness. You will know love. To be at peace, you have to have love for me in your heart. That's not a new message either. What is new is I want you to think about all of the evil that is around you as a fog that blocks your path. I know that it will seem difficult to many. Many of you say, well, how do I take the first step? The first step is simply to believe. Second step, once you believe in me, is to show love for me in your heart. It's actually quite simple. You begin to do good things for others. You show common sense in your life. You show love towards all, you, even though you may feel anger, you don't show it. If you feel true hatred, you have to drive that from your heart. Now, I'm not telling you that you can't dislike. 
obviously there are many things that you dislike going on in your world today. You dislike the terrible war that's happening in the Ukraine. You dislike the fact that they are killing innocent people, women, children. It's horrible. I watch it going on. I can't imagine why a country would do such a thing. I cannot imagine why they would bring such evil and hatred to another country. But they have their heads in a fog. And that fog is going to lead them straight to the low, to the path that goes to the lower level of my heaven. They will remain in a fog. And when they pass, they will realize that what they did was a terrible thing. And for thousands of years, they're going to say, I wish I never did that. But that's too late. Follow my teachings and remove the fog. It's that simple. So I want to thank you for listening. I hope that you will clear your heads, show common sense, believe in me, tell others of my messages, and follow the path that you know will lead you to the realms of heaven. Do not be distracted by fog of evil. See through that fog. See my light in ahead of you. Follow that light. Go towards it, and you will know forever that your soul will reside in a magnificent place. So goodbye. I will return to you again next week. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Father. We will definitely be back again next week with another message. I hope that you will try to follow his words, spread them, tell everybody about us. We're really easy to find. It's on my YouTube channel. My name, Barry Strong. So goodbye. Thank you so much for listening. And you can rest assured that we'll be back again with you next week. Mm -hmm.